Code Afric. Unlock the future. Welcome to this beautiful and awesome lesson. In this episode, guys, I want us to take a break and look at how we can take advantage of the source control system in this episode. Or what I'm trying to mean is that I want us to take a break and look at how we can use Git inside our VS Code without using a Git Bash or even a terminal. All right, there is an inbuilt terminal inside our VS Code and we look at all that and how we can commit and push all our projects inside our GitHub repository using our VS Code. All right, now the awesomeness of this is that in, when you are working like this, okay, it makes the web become faster and also it is more professional, okay, using your VS Code to commit all your changes and also staging all your projects at a go. All right, so without much ado, let's dive in. All right, so first thing first, let us create a new repository for this project. All right, so you come here, make sure you log in into your GitHub account and create a new repository. Come here, we create new. Name it anyhow you want it. All right, I would like to call my responsive website two. Already, I have one there already, so I have to make it two. Now here, you put anything there, okay? So I'll say. All right, so build a road world responsive website. All right, I'll leave everything by default, then I'll create my repository. Now, this is where we are going to start. Okay, so now that we have created our repository, let's go back to our VS Code and we are going to use that VS Code to commit all our changes here. Okay, first to first, there's a menu here. The menu that you see here, this one is for the what? The source control. You can see that for the source control, then this one will give us the advantage for us to use what? The gates. So click on it. And for now, we have not initialized our folder. So what we do is you click on this one, click on the icon, the small icon here, click on that one. It will tell you to select a folder that you want to initialize, okay? And the folder that we are going to select is the folder that we are working on. Make sure you select that folder, the folder that you are working on, okay? It will appear first here, select on that one, responsive website, and it has been selected. And now that we selected it, you can see that we are having seven, we've made seven changes that we have not committed, okay? All right, so what we have to do is we will come here and give it our first message. We have already initialized it, okay? So we don't even need initialization if you like we can initialize it but where we have got into i think um, we have to give it a meaningful because we are on a fourth project okay something like okay so creating a navigation menu now what you do next is you click on this mark icon here okay or you can hold on control then you press enter or you can hold on command and you press enter it's the same thing forget about whatever is here okay just click on yes or you can click on always so that you don't get this pop-up anytime you do this okay so click on always now our changes has been committed all right it has been committed successfully but now we have to link our get to our github repository and like i said there's a terminal inbuilt terminal inside our vs code and you can get it right here okay or you can even do control then use this down octet here okay you can't see it but it's here we're going to come to terminal it's here okay so on my mark i can do command then this symbol so i can equally click on it and the terminal will open okay there's a terminal here down here you can stretch it widely however you want it all right so this is where you are going to use it's a terminal okay it works like your get bash or even your normal terminal that can by default by your windows now what we do here is that we come here we come here and as usual if you want to maintain the main branch then the first thing that you have to do is we have to use this message okay you have to copy this one and paste it that is if you want to maintain your main branch and let's paste it inside our terminal hit enter then the next thing we take the second code all right then we paste it then we hit enter then the next thing is that we will use this one okay we are using the main branch because we have already set the branch to main okay if you want to use the master branch then you don't have to use this code first okay you don't have to use it at all then we change this one to master anyway let's move on so going by the main branch then you hit enter all right guys in case you get an authentication failed here you have to go through my video the one that i recorded about two-faced authentication error fix the solution that i provided you have to go through that video and use the same solution and fix it okay now to do that it's very simple when you come to your get you come to your profile here then you come to settings so inside the settings here developer settings then we come to personal access token then we come to create new token okay click on that and here we can put in any message token for get terminal 
Okay, something like this. Maybe it might say that you have used it before. You can add a number to it, okay, to make it valid. Then you come to click on this one, ripple, okay. Make sure you click on this one. If you don't check this box, it will not work. Then you generate your token, okay. You generate the token, then you copy it. So when you get an authentication error, what you do is you come back here, okay. Then you go through the process again. You do get push minus u origin master. You do this one and you hit enter. It's a request for your username and password, okay. When you copy your access token, please make sure you save it somewhere, okay. You can even paste it somewhere safe, like this one. Make sure you save it, okay. Then it will request for your name, your username. So my username is here, Joseph, and my number, okay. So you can copy your username, then you paste it first, or if you like, you can type it. Then you copy your access token. In our case, we have not exit, so it's still here. You can copy it, then we paste it and hit enter. Immediately, you do what I'm, I am instructing you to do, you get your result. Your project will be pushed successfully. So after everything is successful, you can go back. Okay, you can come back here and refresh, okay. Boom, you can see that our project has been pushed successfully. We have it here, okay. So creating a navigation menu too. We have it here. So by so doing, this is how we are going to do. And in every stages, we are going to push our project in every stages. So please, make sure you understand this concept so that we can move on together. All right, so that will be that for this. Let's meet on the next one and continue building our responsive website. Thank you.